Well, as you can see, I'm stressed. And if you're wondering why, well, I've just found out that Asda, one of the UK's biggest grocery stores, are now losing money. You're probably thinking, Nico, why do you care? Well, I care because it's all my fault. See, I've pranked Asda multiple times. I went in there as a fake celebrity. I pretended to smoke a bong. And I went in as an old man on a mobility scooter. Go ahead, go on. Fuck it. Yeah. And now they're losing business and I blame myself. But it's fine because I'm going to fix it. I'm going to help Asda get back to the place they once were as the UK's greatest grocery store. And it all starts with my friend Kenny. You see, he actually used to work for Asda and I'm hoping this schmuck will hook me up with his Asda shirt. Kenny! What's up? Can I please use your Asda shirt? What do you need it for? Don't worry about it, man. Listen, just send me your Asda shirt. Oh, uh, you're always asking about the Asda shirt. I need it. Alright, don't worry then. I'll yes. just send it. Okay, thank you, man. Thank you. Despite this guy wearing sunglasses inside, he actually managed to do something useful and send me his shirt. We were ready to go. Look at this. Hey. Yes! Hey. Okay, Kenny's also put a note in it saying the King family is better than the NDL. This is just not true. <laughs> the, the Nico Defense League is a global movement and the King family, well the King family is as good as your handwriting, Kenny. Look at this, you can't even spell family. But I have a job to do and that's taking Asda back to their place at the top. And that all started by slandering their competition. Tesco. Save two pounds. That's what they tell people. <laughs> they tell people you can save two quid. That's shocking. At Asda, we wouldn't lie like that. We need to settle this feud between us. <laughs> Nervous laughter. I smelt blood. It was time to go in for the kill and compare prices. What? What are these? Tables. And how much? How much are these? Five pounds. Sell them for two pound, Asda. And then this. Fifteen pounds. That's shocking. Good Ten pound, at Asda, my friend. Good. We've got a song at Asda. Buy from us. Buy from us. Please, 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 just buy from us. Uh, well, you'll find some great steamed pudding in Asda. Come on, Asda price. <laughs> we're, we're losing, we're losing money. So, I'm trying to. Right, we'll come in next week. Yes, you sure? Yeah. You promise me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, come ask for Nicholas, and I'll sort you out with five vouchers. She literally said lynched. I'm telling you, she's the EDL in disguise. And on that note, I think I'm done. It was time for me and George to go back to the promised land, Asda, the most beautiful place in the world. Hopefully Asda will be proud of me because I'm doing all of this for free. I mean, it's basically slavery, but I'll let it slide just for you guys. And then it was time for me to head into the store. Originally, I just walked around and did nothing of any significance, but then I wanted to help people. The only problem was they didn't want my help. Can I interest you in any mega pack? No, I'm alright. Like, like... It got to the point where I literally had to force my help on others. This one, yeah? No, I've got two here. I've got two there. Like this, yeah? yeah, yeah. I just love helping people. Oh. But then again, when people really did need my help, I just didn't know what to say. Chili flakes. Chili flakes. Chili flakes. Um, to be honest, I've got. I've got no idea either. Um, <laughs> yeah. Chili flakes. What's that, like a cereal? CDs and what have you? CDs. Um... Then I met this guy. He was asking where the CDs were and I decided to mess around with him and act like I had no idea what he was talking about. What, what's the CD stand for? Compact disc. Compact disc. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> it's got you there. Compact disc. Uh, I don't know what a compact disc is. M music? music disc. An iPod? No, no, music disc. Like a... Like a DVD or a CD. I don't think they sell them anymore, no, mate. No, I think no, that's no, about like, 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you've lost it, man. Yeah, before that's I like think, 40 years ago. It's like 40 years ago, man. They used to. It's not that long ago, man. Well, they still sell them up there. You've got a load of them on that stand up there. Oh, Winies. Winies. The best name I could make up was Winies. Okay, the Winies are just down here. Are they? Yeah, 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 the Winies. Yeah, yeah, Winies, man. So I took them to where the CDs were, and then it got even better. Wait, so where's it say CD? CD. He was so confused that he started asking random strangers what CDs were. What are these called? CDs? Yeah. Man, no way! Hey, he's just telling me I'm old! And then he clocked George behind the camera, which made it even better. You know what? You know, Excuse me, young lad. Young, young lad. What, what are these what's called? This? A whiny, it's a whiny. Uh, tell him, tell him what it is. I'm pretty 
sure that's a whiny. Exactly. <laughs> it's a whiny. You never heard of a whiny. <laughs> he just kept asking more people. A CD? Oh, yeah. There's, There's no way. Really There's no way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> these are whinies, I'm telling you now. These are whinies. Have you ever heard them call a I've CD? Heard of them. I didn't CD. Yeah. CDs are like those record players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. No, no, that's vinyl. Cool play. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, no, that's crazy. Oh, great, great. Ah! Did you see that? He attacked me, the pain was unbearable. I got stabbed in the grocery store. After this, I couldn't trust the customers, so I went to speak with my colleagues. Dad, are you working on that? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Pete's just come up to me, says he's big guy. Yeah, man, first day. Hey, yeah. What? What, you doing? I'm, I'm just going around the. To be honest, I don't fully know. Can I help you? Have you seen Anne? You speak to Anne? Anne, no. I just... Go upstairs, she's in the canteen, she's and... got a black shirt on, okay. glasses on top of her head. Okay. Find oh, her. Yeah. Just up there, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> up there. That lady just dabbed for me. Like the video right now for five years of good luck. I'm all out, yeah. I'm all out. Excuse me, mate. Is... Is Anne up here? She'll be on a break, mate. She's upstairs, yeah. Upstairs. But off I went to meet Anne. Now this bit was impossible to film because it was just me, so like, I didn't want to make it bait. That door right there was my destination, I had to convince whoever was on the other side that I was an employee and I just blagged it the best I could. Um, it's Anne. Oh, I, th I think I'm, I'm working here. I had my interview in... Well, no, I didn't have an. I've never had an interview once. And I completely bottled it. Somehow though, they were still willing to give me a chance. Yeah. Yeah, is that right? Yeah. Okay, grocery. I'll work. I'll work. Then they took me into their office and were actually trying to get me a job. At this point, I knew I took it too far because they were asking for my private information. Stickers, your date of birth, and your address on, mate, as well, and then just so we can contact you. It was time to get out of there. Or I was praying George was ready for a quick exit. But no, of course he wasn't. Just look at him. He's just standing around. I knew I had to leave, so I just made up some random excuse. Don't don't worry. I can just email the email because yeah. I've already got the job. So yeah. I don't need you to sort me a job. Have a great day, man. Thank you very much Cheers, for your help. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. And luckily it worked. I just walked out and I just couldn't believe it. I mean, they offered me a job. Now, as you're probably furious that I had the audacity to go to the back of your stores again, but you're not allowed to be mad at me, and I'll show you exactly why. Play the music. I went and I started being a good Samaritan. Originally, I wanted to tip this kind woman, but unfortunately, I wasn't allowed. Would I be allowed to um, leave you a tip? Leave? A tip. A tip? Yeah, yeah, a tip. I'm not allowed. So instead, I just bought this geezer's shopping. Oh, damn it. All right. Well, would you like your shopping bought? Okay, I'll buy it. There we go. I'll buy it. Yeah, that's me buying people shopping. Try and demonetize me now, YouTube. I'm a good person. Then the manager came over. This was Anne, and she saw me paying for his shopping. You paid for his shopping? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but such a lovely guy. Oh, thank you, yeah. thank you. All my life, I've had people giving me hate, and Anne here called me a good guy. She really warmed my heart, and I went and bought someone else's shopping as well. Excuse me, can I, can, um, can I buy your shopping? Yeah, is that right? Yeah, I can buy it. Okay. Well, what? I'm, I'm buying your shopping, I'm telling you now, I'm buying your yeah, shopping. Honest. Yeah, yeah. Honest, honest, I'm buying your shopping. How much? I can't afford to lose 60 pounds. I only did this with views in the first place. <laughs> she started crying. <laughs> she started crying. <laughs> If you can't tell I'm kidding, of course I bought their shopping. Alright, no worries at all, no worries at all, have a very nice day. For the first time in my life, I wasn't hated by the people I made a video on. Look at them, they love me. Probably because I bought their shopping, but still, it made my cold heart feel warm. This is great, I love it, I love it. <laughs> this is the last time I'll be going to Asda. This is the end of an era and I wanted to kind of end it on a positive note. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that is the video guys. Today Connor Lassie is setting the light goal. Light goal for today's video is 11,000 likes. Please, let's smash 11,000 likes. If we don't do it, I'll never upload again. But subscribe guys, join the Nico Defense League. I, I like the way that sounds. And I'll see you guys 
very soon, hopefully. Bye. If you want to be in my videos, follow all my social medias, and every week I'll find different ways to get you guys involved in the videos. So go follow all of them now. There's no choice in the matter. I've never opened a pack of eggs before. Sorry, man.